Greetings, denizens. Welcome back to another episode of Top 10 Den. Today, we're journeying through the darkened alleys of history, seeking out the peculiar, the terrifying, and the downright eccentric weapons of war. We will uncover the 10 most unique, inventive, and sometimes head-scratching contrivances ever used in combat. So, fasten your seatbelts and prepare for a captivating trip back in time. Let's get started. On the 10th spot, we have a weapon straight out of ancient Mesoamerican civilizations, the Macuahuitl. Picture a cricket bat, if you will. Now, replace the flat surface with jagged shards of obsidian, a volcanic glass as sharp as any razor. That's right, you're now picturing the Macuahuitl, a fearsome weapon wielded by Aztec warriors. Imagine the terror it would inspire on the battlefield, a cricket bat from the underworld indeed. This was a weapon not only used for hand-to-hand -hand combat, but also to symbolize power and authority within the warrior class. So, you're not just looking at an ancient weapon, you're looking at a status symbol as well. Talk about killing two birds with one stone, quite literally. Sliding into our second spot is the Atlatl, one of mankind's earliest force multipliers. Originating from the Upper Paleolithic Era, this ancient weapon dramatically extended the range and power of a spear. The Atlatl is essentially a spear thrower, a tool that uses leverage to propel a dart or a spear farther than a human arm could throw alone. The device allowed early man to bring down much larger prey from a safer distance. It's a humbling reminder that sometimes the most impactful weapons are not the flashiest, but the ones that enable us to exceed our physical limitations. Picture David versus Goliath, but David's got an atlatl. Now that's a game changer. At number 8, we journey to feudal Japan to uncover the Kusarigama. Combining a sickle, kama, for slicing and a long iron chain, kusari, for trapping and disarming opponents, this weapon encapsulates the ingenious mind of the samurai class. Imagine a farmer in the morning tending to his crops with a sickle and a warrior in the evening defending his honor with the same tool. It's a DIY weapon if there ever was one. Plus, it perfectly embodies the duality of a society where one could be a farmer and a warrior. Taking the seventh spot on our list is the Kopesh, an iconic ancient Egyptian weapon. Its unique design, a cross between a sword and a sickle, sets it apart from other weapons of the time. The Kopesh was used both as a chopping blade and a hook, making it extremely versatile in combat. It was often made from precious metals like bronze and was a status symbol for pharaohs and high-ranking officials. Imagine turning up to a battlefield and realizing the enemy is not just holding a lethal weapon, but also flaunting their wealth. Talk about adding insult to injury. Our journey takes us once again to ancient China as we unveil the sixth entry on our list, the Nest of Bees. This weapon is essentially a hexagonal tube packed with rocket-propelled arrows. When the fuse was lit, the bees would swarm out, creating a deadly cloud of arrows flying towards the enemy. Imagine a beehive, but instead of bees, it spits out arrows. It's probably the only kind of beehive you'd want to run towards, not away from. We've reached the top five, and things are getting intriguing. Here, we have the peculiar man-catcher from medieval Europe. As the name implies, it was used to pull horsemen off their mounts. Picture this, a long pole, perhaps as tall as a man, topped with a two-pronged head. This head could open and close, trapping a man's neck when closed. Not only did it serve as a weapon, but it was also a status symbol, often paraded around by town guards. In essence, it was the medieval equivalent of bling. The fourth spot takes us to the golden age of Byzantine with the legendary Greek fire. This incendiary weapon was the ancient equivalent of napalm, and its exact composition remains a mystery to this day. Imagine a stream of flaming liquid that couldn't be extinguished with water. It could stick to ships, to shields, even to skin, causing havoc and sowing terror among the enemy ranks. The Byzantines used it in flamethrowers and fireships, transforming naval warfare into a scene straight out of a horror movie. On the third spot, we delve into the fascinating world of ancient siege warfare with the Claw of Archimedes. Also known as the Ship Shaker, this weapon was allegedly invented by the famous Greek mathematician Archimedes himself. Used during the siege of Syracuse, the Claw was a massive crane equipped with a giant grappling hook. When enemy ships approached the city walls, the Claw would lower, 
latch onto the ship and lift it out of the water, capsizing it and sending the crew to a watery grave. Talk about getting hooked on warfare. Just missing the top spot, we have the Chu Ko Nu, an ancient Chinese repeating crossbow. Imagine having the ability to fire several bolts in quick succession without needing to reload each time. It's as if someone looked at a regular crossbow and thought, this is great, but what if it was a machine gun? With its unique mechanism, the Chuko Nu could unleash a hail of bolts before the enemy even had time to react. If this isn't an impressive display of ancient innovation, I don't know what is. Finally, at the very top of our list, we have the medieval hand cannon. As the forerunner of modern firearms, this weapon forever changed the landscape of warfare. Picture a cannon, a device capable of launching projectiles with tremendous force. Now imagine shrinking it down to a size that a single soldier could operate. That's what the hand cannon was, a personal portable cannon. It turned every infantryman into an artillery unit and redefined the concept of firepower. And there you have it, our top 10 most unique weapons from history. We've journeyed through time, uncovering the brilliant, the bizarre and the downright terrifying tools of war. We hope you've enjoyed this journey through the armories of the past here at the Top 10 Den. If you enjoyed our exploration, hit that like button. We'd love to hear what you think about these weapons, so do share your thoughts in the comments below. Remember to subscribe for more journeys into the captivating corners of history. And as always, stay curious, denizens.